Hello, hello, my amazing creative friends, Oksanzi here again. Today I'm going to be showing you all about how I have my Welcome into Tablet set up, specifically the buttons and the pen and the settings that I have assigned to it uh, for working in Adobe Illustrator. This video is a part of a series where I'm making about the tools that I use in my home studio as a digital vector textile designer. In this video, I'm going to show you each button, what it, what it does, specifically in Adobe Illustrator, and I will explain why I like to set up all of these buttons, and as well how I set up my pen, and how to use it uh, on vector elements. I'm going to show you the functions of each button. So here we are in my Adobe Illustrator CC 2015, and these are the three elements we created in the previous video in this series where I was talking about how to start drawing uh, uh, with your uh, Wacom Intuos or other uh, digital pen tablet in Adobe Illustrator. Please check that video out to learn how to draw these little uh, cute uh, flowers. All right, today we're going to, I'm going to tell you how I have my uh, tablet set up, all the buttons and the uh, ring and the pen and touch, everything. I'm going to show you the screenshots of everything and in the corresponding blog post, we are going to be able to read in step-by-step -step instructions and all the screenshots uh, as well. All right, you guys. So, uh, how to access the settings for your tablet? On Mac, it's in Systems Preferences. On Windows, I'm not. I'm. I don't know. I'm not sure where it is, but basically, it's in here. All right. So we need to go to Systems Preferences and Wacom Tablet. Double click. I'm using Pen for everything, by the way. And what we are going to do? We are going to click on Functions. And then we are going to cl uh, click on applications. To add an application like Adobe Illustrator CC, uh, we need to add, to click on this plus icon and then find the application here. All right, so as we have this application uh, in set up, we click on it and then we adjust the settings because you can have your settings uh, for your Wacom tablet set up differently for different applications, which is awesome. So these are my Adobe Illustrator settings. So uh, first of all, I uh, use these as much as possible for the things that I use um, not only for repeat pattern design in Adobe Illustrator, but basically for everything. And uh, first of all, the, we'll, we will start from the bottom and we'll move our way up. So the first one is undo. Uh, how do you set up, by the way, I'm going to, on this first one, show you how to set it up. You need to click on the uh, this uh, down arrow, then select, you can have a lot of options over here, so you can uh, please customize everything for yourself, but this is how I set it up. So I go to keyboard and keystroke, and undo is uh, basically command Z, uh, or command Z. Uh, so what I do is I click in here, and then on the keyboard I press Command Z. This is what appears, and then I give it a name, undo. Okay, and then one by one you go uh, uh, and set it up. So for example, I want to move this flower here, but then I decided that I would want to undo it. I click on this, uh, I will show you guys uh, on this, and this is how I click and hold, and this menu appears, by the way. And then I click undo, and it just uh, did that. Uh, then this, I decided that I want to redo, put it back up there. So I touch this top button, redo. And here you go. I click press it and then it goes back up. All right, the next tool that I use a lot in Adobe Illustrator is hand tool. So I click on it and then you see that my cursor changed to hand. And now I can move the whole of my artboard around and position as I want to, which is awesome. So I really like this. But oftentimes you need to move something and then you need to go back to a different tool. In my case, it's oftentimes it's a uh, black arrow or white arrow. All right, so we this is our black arrow right here. Oftentimes black arrow selects the actual uh, element and the group or a group of elements at one pass or a group of pass if they are grouped. But oftentimes I really need the 
white arrow tool and white arrow tool is the basically selects one point so let's say I want to change this curve so this is what I can do with a uh, white arrow tool and let's press undo a couple of times and we have that fixed uh, right on our Wacom tablet and I wanted to give you a tip uh, you need to um, take screenshots of a good setup the setup that you feel like you're you're getting the hand of using because sometimes you need to restart the software res reset uh, your uh, computer or something goes wrong and you lose your settings it will take you a long time to figure out how you had it set up and I recommend having a folder on your computer or a folder in Evernote software as a note-taking software or in Google Drive somewhere you can create a document and upload screenshots of how you have everything set up in particular uh, your Wacom tablet this way you know that you have a backup and you will not lose your settings will have saved so much time uh, when you need to update your software. So, black arrow, white arrow, and then uh, the last tool that I have uh, set up from my uh, often, most often used is save. So it's right here, save, and well on the Mac you can see that this red circle just changed to um, the, the plain circle with no dot and this means that this document is now saved. So uh, these are the tools that I have set up. Uh, I have two more buttons to show and then I will talk about the zoom. So this tool, this button is uh, called settings. When I click on it, it actually shows me the different settings that are uh, over here which I, I don't use it that often, but I still have it. And uh, the, the, top, the top one, the topest, the one on the top is uh, my special tool that I really often use, and it's the mask tool. Let's say we'll put the blue, we will put the uh, blue tri uh, rectangle behind this flower right and we want to put it inside of a circle let's say this is your uh, this actually happens to me a lot where I need to use a mask in Adobe Illustrator so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle and I let's say I want to I want to make it a mask okay so I need it to click on the circle, click on the color, and then I want to make everything uh, a mask in the shape of this yellow circle. So this is why I have this mask right here. Click and I have a nice mask uh, all done. So this is basically uh, my one of my favorite ones is the mask, the very top button on my uh, Wacom Intuos. So this is the setup I have for the buttons and there is also the scroll which is this circle right here you can uh, and in the middle button is toggle I don't use it very often but it can uh, also have four different tools in here for example rotate and rotate doesn't work in Adobe Illustrator so I don't use it but basically uh, zoom works so this is how we zoom in and we zoom out. So I like the zoom option for Adobe Illustrator. All right, so next what we have here is touch. And by the way, you can set up the touch ring uh, from here, touch ring. Okay, so next we have touch. These are the settings. They're pretty much uh, regular settings, basic settings, uh, which I, I mostly use touch for uh, scroll, uh, basically going up and down, scrolling up and down, which is very, very helpful. I really like that. Okay, so next uh, we have a Pro Pen 2. This is my this is my older Wacom Intuos Pen and this is my newer one. And this is how I have it set up. So the lower button is uh, right click and the, uh, the button on the top is double click. And right click, uh, if I hover on this object, 
I can click and this the lower button and this will bring me the right click menu that I would get on the mouse or if I uh, click on the, the higher button uh, then it goes inside the mask so it goes inside the object you can go even deeper inside and isolate see it can you can see here it isolates so really really helpful tool right here okay so the rest is I have tip fill in the middle and tip double click distance also in the middle again and you can restore defaults anytime of by clicking the default button so basically the last thing I wanted to show you is oh well not the last <laughs> the, uh, the second last uh, eraser so it is very very helpful tool if you just uh, this rounded tip you can set it to erase or you can do uh, some other things with it if you want and then what you can do you, you can uh, turn around like uh, so and you can erase as you would with a regular pencil and it will erase for you all right let's undo with our button and this is basically how everything is coming together and the last thing I wanted to show you is the mapping and the mapping is that it means how my screen uh, computer screen relates to my tablet and in this ca case I have two screens so this is a smaller one is my MacBook Pro and the larger one is my additional monitor and this is basically a way I have it set up so that uh, this whole monitor is um, more or less the half of my screen and the top left portion is my MacBook Pro. Now in my case I have no issues with that I really am used to it so I don't have an issue with um, basically uh, drawing uh, on the right more of a right side of my Wacom tablet works very well for me I also wanted to tell you that I have a video where uh, you can learn uh, for how to start drawing with your uh, Wacom tablet or any other digital tablet in Adobe Illustrator uh, the fastest way and how to scale you up your knowledge from there and practice be to become better and better at uh, using Wacom digital tablet or other tablet as well <laughs> So back to you. What do you think? Do you have any buttons set up and do you actually use them on your graphics tablet? Do you feel that it saves you time? I sure do. Thank you so much for watching it once again. I wanted to ask you please like this video if you liked it. It really helps me to know which type of videos do you guys want me to make more of and uh, also consider subscribing if you want to learn uh, when my videos come up. Also hit that bell so that you will be notified every time I create videos every week on the topics of art, design, specifically textile, repeat pattern design, Adobe Illustrator and running your own creative business. Thank you once again very very much. Uh, bye!